I couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to and Today I'm going to be taking you guys on a day of my life As a nanotechnology engineering student at the University of Waterloo And you'll get a bit of an insight into what it's really like studying nanoengineering I'm starting off the morning by grabbing a coffee for a friend and I and here we are working on an assignment for our microfabrication class. Welcome to the QNC. This is home to Olas Nanos. It's where we have most of our classes and our labs. We're starting our first lecture of the day, but first, let's fuel up. First up on today's schedule, we have microfabrication. In this course, we learn everything from fabricating the microprocessors in your computers to other micro devices such as MEMS, microfluidics, and sensors. This course was by far one of the heaviest in terms of course content in our degree. We had to memorize several key processes for fabricating these integrated circuit devices from the starting material up to depositing the final pattern. It's definitely an interesting course and super useful if you want to continue pursuing the semiconductor fields. This course even has a lab component, so stay tuned for that. Next up, we have macromolecular science. This course is all about polymers and learning about the different polymerization reactions and the key properties we need to look at for obtaining different polymers. It's a useful course because the application is literally everywhere in our lives, from the plastic bottles and cutlery you use to water hoses and clothing. They're all made from the basic building block, which are monomers. Sustainability is also becoming more and more apparent, and in this course, we design bioplastics um, that are renewable. 10 repeating units. What is the molecular weight of this? So the degree of polymerization is 10. Last lecture of the day. Woo, we made it. We have economics, which was a good break from all our hardcore concept courses. We learned how to make a stock portfolio, and if the S&P 500 was doing well, we would have been net positive. <laughs> So this is a clean room, which basically is like a lab that controls the concentration of particles in the air through filters. And we need a highly isolated space for fabricating semiconductor wafers because just a little bit of contamination could disrupt the performance. So my partner and I are fabricating a capacitor made of metal, insulating, and semiconducting material, which is used in MIS field effect transistors that are in your electronic devices. We do a series of steps from wafer cleaning to depositing the films of the dielectric material and metal to etching and then allowing proper exposure from a photoresist to pattern the device. Lastly, we use special instrumentation to conduct measurements on our device to get some properties. And here's a look at our final device. Three hours later and we are finished with the lab. I'm headed to DC Library, one of my favorite study spots. I usually like to do individual studying for the most part because I find myself more productive. And then later in the night, I'll join my friends for dinner and do some group studying. 
One tip that I've gathered from my few years of undergrad is reviewing your notes right after a lecture can really help solidify what you took from it. I try my best to do this while it's still fresh in my head. While studying is important, taking breaks is needed for your mental health. My friends and I went to Dagu, which is a rice noodle resto in Gongcha for bubble tea. After catching up a bit, we went back to tackling a fluid dynamics problem together. By putting all our minds in one spot, we were able to solve the problem, and that's one of group studying spirits. I just got home. It is 10:30 p.m. That is what finals is like when you're in nanotechnology. So I know I'm not.